Uh, welcome back to the show. A lot of people have been worried about the president's erratic behavior. One voice of calm in these troubled times is right-wing radio host and <laughs> furious cashew Alex Jones. <laughs> Jones has personally advised Donald Trump and Jones' conspiracy-pushing website, InfoWars, was actually granted White House press credentials this year. Now, a little while back, Jones revealed why he thinks the president has seemed a bit off his game. I was told this by high-level sources. I've talked to people, multiple ones, that, and they believe that they are putting a slow sedative that they're building up that's also addictive in his Diet Cokes and in his iced tea, and that the president, by... Six or seven at night is basically slurring his words. They isolate him. Then you start slowly building up the dose. But instead of titrating it like poison, like venom of a cobra or a rattlesnake or a water moccasin, where you build it up slowly so that you get a immunity to it, you're building it slowly so the person doesn't notice it. The president's about two months into being covertly drugged. And I don't think he's alone. It really feels like I've been on heavy hallucinogens since last January. <laughs> and Jones knows this is all part of a long history of presidential poisoning. Remember George W. Bush was a governor, was well-spoken. Between him on the campaign trail and getting into office, he became a bumbling moron. You could look at him, and I could tell you he was drugged up. And you look at him today, they admit he's on a bunch of psychotropics. And he sits there naked in his bathtub doing those paintings. They drug presidents. <laughs> Could he be right? Can we see George W. Bush's latest dog painting? Yeah, he's on drugs. <laughs> yeah. But despite all the poison the president is drinking, Jones believes that sometimes Trump can still think clearly. Like last week, when Trump tweeted that his nuclear button was bigger than Kim Jong-un's. A lot of people thought that was crazy. Not Alex Jones. They're the ones saying, hey, we got a bigger nuclear button than you. We got a bigger arsenal, more powerful. And it works. Nothing to do with the media trying to say the president has small genitals. And by the way, he doesn't even have small hands. And by the way, that's a cliche and the wives tell not even true as well. <laughs> Medical doctors will tell you it's the feet size. And how does Alex Jones know Donald Trump's genital size? Well, <laughs> he gets a pretty good look at him when he's kissing his ass. <laughs> but... But you're asking Stephen, is there more to the story? Yes. And it was all covered by my colleague, conspiracy radio broadcaster Tuck Buckford, the host of Brain Fight. And this is why Huma Abedin is working with IKEA to create a fleet of easy-to-assemble micro-submarines for Sweden's ISIS to invade through your toilet tank, okay? <laughs> so for your safety, jam a Brita filter down there, okay? Also gives it a nice, crisp taste. Your dog will thank you. Now, if you're just joining us, brain fighters, today we're diving into the media conspiracy to convince you that the president has small genitals, okay? Not true. It's just jealousy. Because members of the fake news media have had their own genitals replaced by USB ports in order to conceal Hillary Clinton's emails inside their pelvic floors, okay? That's what Kegels are for, opening a file. I'll do one right now. Hold on. Hey! No, that was just spam. Well, joke's on them, ha-ha. Because Apple has a whole new kind of plug, and soon their groins will be obsolete. Plus... It is well known that penis size has no correlation to your nuclear button or your hands or your penis, okay? The only correlation is to your instep. I've consulted with my neuropathist at Foot Locker, and he assures me that the shoes I purchased for my penis are the correct fit, okay? Always flats. Can't work a full day with my penis and heels. By the way, I happen to have one of the president's shoes right here, okay? Look at that. Mmm, this is the President Trump. Oh, you can smell the MAGA right in there. A musky MAGA. And looky, look what's inside. A poisoned Yoo-Hoo, okay? <laughs> Yoo-Hoo, the Arabic word 
for not as chocolatey as you were hoping. Now, you brain fighters down in the mine trench know I've been immune to all poisons since my sweat lodge vision quest during the weekend I spent locked in my mom's Honda Accord. The Japanese put the child locks in the back seat on direct orders from Crown Prince Pikachu, which is why I am personally volunteering to be President Trump's food and beverage tester, sir, reporting for duty, starting with your ready whip, okay? Mr. President, look at this. Yeah, I can tell immediately with one sniff, this is microdose with the venom of the deadly emperor penguin, okay? <laughs> On orders from UN Secretary General Morgan Freeman, do not use it, okay? The only safe way to consume it is like this. Yeah, this one's safe. But just to be sure, don't put the liquid in your mouth, okay? You want to apply that, you want to apply that topically, all right? Just topically, all right? And don't forget the yum gills down here, all right? It's all part of the flavor thorax, all right? Mmm, delicioso. A little sweet, though. Feels a little sweet. Now, should the venom cross the neck-brain barrier, don't forget the anecdote, okay? You got to fight fire with fire. You got to fight poison with poison. That's why I was followed up with drinking a bag of Tide Pods, all right? I tape a little, ah, uh, ah, uh, damn. Ready Whips made this so slippery. Anyway, the point is just work your way through these. They got a real kick to it. Plus, it'll make your lower testing. I mean, your duodenum will be brighter and softer than ever. <laughs> Brain Fights brought to you by Stamps.com. Con, all right, to service that sends a convicted felon to intercept your mail so that the jackbooted government mail carriers can't push their propaganda through your letter hole. Stick around. We'll be right back with funny man Steven Seagal. We'll be right back. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.